replaced the fired Alain Vigneault back on December the 2nd, of course, the former head coach as well of the Minnesota Wild as we are underway. And now Yandel waiting to see what Couture is going to do, spins him around, then delivers a nice feed to Konechny. Travis Konechny sends it up on the wing, a chance, and they score! And the Flyers strike first. It's Morgan Frost, 1-0 Philadelphia. And three on two with the center lane drive right there. And Milosh, if you're going to let the guy drive through there, you've got to get a piece of him. And because he doesn't, Konechny just knows now he's just got to get it over to Frost because it was a three on two to begin with. Vlasic attacks the puck carrier and Konechny makes him pay after he drives to the middle through the middle and makes a tap in. Sharks penalty kill has dipped a bit. And Sharks penalty kill. Like here on Tuesday night. So Jake Middleton's made a lot of real subtle plays here tonight where he hasn't panicked. Here's Couture with a break. Score! A shorthanded goal. And the Sharks tie it up. The head coach not going to like a shorthanded goal. Couture makes him pay right here. That little self pass finds a 5 hole on the young goaltender from Philly. This one gets by Yandel. And now it's just settle the puck if you're Couture. Get your head up. Find a hole. Exactly what he does. But this is all set up for Middleton. Off the faceoff win. Doesn't panic with the puck. They navigate it out into the neutral zone. And Couture ties the game. Couture again. Backing up his Provorov. A three-on-one. Short-handed. Couture shot saved by Sandstrom. Rims it around to the weak side. Middleton there first. Sharks have killed the penalty and scored. And now Hurdle. Tomas, he's got Burns, SCORES! Brent Burns, and just like that, the Sharks have the lead! Well, Brent Burns has the mindset to shoot. He's deadly, and this move though by Hurdle sets it up. Little backhand feed as Burns activates and then just blows it right by Sandstrom. That pass right there was a beauty from Hurdle. And then it was just Burns just having to settle down that pass, get his head up, and find an opening. And just like that, Sharks now hold the lead. And this puck will skip perfectly for Noah Gregor. Here's Gregor into the zone, Dangle shoots, and it's saved by Sandstrom. Gregor into Bonino. Gregor with the puck, in front, Barabanov, and denied at the doorstep. Alexander Barabanov, it looked like it was in for sure. Catch it on the backhand, turn and fire, but here's the other one. And Barabanov just going to pull it on the backhand, and wow. With Cogliano on his left, Burns waits, Burns delays, fired it through the crease. Classic back in front, Cogliano, and off the glove of Sandstrom. Check to the ice, but the puck comes out to Hurdle. And now Meyer. Yandel got his stick out on it. Back in comes Lindblom for Philadelphia, and they score! Joel Farabee with a quick wrist shot that fooled Reimer, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, Farabee makes some pay on a turnover in the neutral zone. Puck management, one of my keys here tonight, and this is just a, a terrific wrist shot. Beats Reimer to the far side, and boy, I wonder if this could be offside. They're going to probably obviously take a look at it now, but they did everything right the Sharks did, and Timo Meyer helps his defenseman, takes the puck out, Carlson going after Konechny. They both the good, both guys getting swats at each other. And Braun is just going to kill the clock here. And this game will go beyond 60 minutes. Overtime coming. As Hurdle jumps on along with Gregor. Tomas Hurdle toward the net. Brings it back around. In the crease. And it's grabbed and held by Felix Sands. Quick pass for Hurdle. And... The Sharks almost lost the puck. Now they've got a two-on-one. Eric Carlson with it. Waits. Carlson. Hurdle. And he scores! Tomas Hurdle! And the Sharks win it in overtime! And Hurdle's jumping on the boards, off the boards right there. And he creates enough havoc, but it was the Carlson... 
activating there to create the two-on-one, the patience of Carlson to thread it into Hurdle. And it gets disrupted by Sanai momentarily with the block, but Hurdle hits the brakes and buries it for the game winner.